Hey there, guys. How's it going? All right, we are back with some more. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. All right. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour by Flood and Mon 14. All right, how's it going, guys? Uh, this is your host, Floodmon14, back here with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Uh, let's see, in the last episode, what did we do? We uh, basically kept uh, <clears throat> trying to level up, and we dueled uh, versus Yu-Gi. In this episode, um, we're still kind of in the beginning of the game. It's the uh, first day of the uh, uh, KC... Beginner's Cup, so in this episode, uh, we're just gonna keep uh, doing, see if we can find something interesting. So, there we go, here's someone. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, it's just a regular person. Oh, so you're looking for opponents to duel with a duelist radar. I think you should investigate this area a bit more. Huh, okay. Now, sometimes that'll happen kind of, uh, uh, actually very rarely that you'll you'll lock on to someone who's actually not a duelist and just get kind of some you know random dialogue so that's cool uh, let's see about here ah Bakura it's me Florence actually it's not Florence I'm Bakura I have a deck too wow well, my my English accent is probably not very good at all, so I'm, I apologize to any who are intended. I think it would be smashing if we do <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> and he has an occult deck. All right. So let's duel him, see if we can uh, get some more points. All right, looks like we'll be going first. Now, Bakura's strategy, um, his deck is sort of an interesting, uh, combination of strategies, really. Um, one you're going to see is, perhaps see, anyway, is speed. Um, and you'll see it with cards like Enchanting Fitting Room, and, uh, also Call of the Money. Uh, the other strategy Bakura runs is kind of annoying, and it's Ectoplasmer, so we'll see what he does here. Yeah, and there it is. There's Ectoplasmer. Okay. Well, if you don't know, what Ectoplasmer does is, uh, well, actually, I'll just go over the card here so you can see. All right. Yeah, basically, uh, during each player's end phase, they, they have to tribute one face-up monster. Uh, and then the opponent receives uh, half of the original attack as damage. Uh, now, I'm going to summon... I'm going to summon an Oscillo Hero here. Now, normally I probably wouldn't make this play, but... Basically, the reason I'm doing this is because if Muka Muka was the only monster on our field, then we'd have to sacrifice it, which, that's no good, so. Oh wow, and he has the Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams, so. Perfect defense, nothing I could have really done about that, so. Uh, I guess I could have maybe killed it with Muka Muka if I had kept Asilo in my hand, but eh, that's... That's not the way to play. All right, so yeah, in the end phase, just don't just don't make a mistake and you know select your best monster as tribute. Uh, it's basically going to be the deal here. So, but now his monsters face up. So, ooh, pot of greed. Man, I like if we could get that card. That's that's a good card. Uh, we'll see that. Ectoplasma. Alright. Let's see what we can get here. 
Alright, Crawling Dragon 2. That's pretty good, so we'll, we'll summon that. Alright. And let's see. Should I attack with Muka Muka this time? Nah, you know what? I'm going to attack with Crawling Dragon. Uh, ooh, Headless Knight. Man, good call. But yeah, a lot of Bakura's monsters actually... Um, so he runs like some of them, some of the you know lower level zombies in here too, as well as the fiends. Uh, like he'll run you know dragon zombie and clown zombie, and those cards have zero defense. So that's why I'm kind of being uh, you know aggressive on the attack because I mean zero defense. That's I mean you know anything I have could take that out. So. Eh, it's kind of backfiring so far, but I'd say so far Bakura's playing pretty well. Uh, but we'll get him, we'll get him. Just gotta play our cards right. Alright, what are you gonna do, Bakura? Dragon Zombie. Ooh. Now. Hmm. I could trap hole here, and I'm going to, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bakura has a card called like Violet Crystal, and it basically boosts a zombie by 300. So uh, basically, I didn't want him to get over Mooka Mooka there, is, is why I did that. So, not to mention, now we get uh, two free shots at him. So, it might have been a waste of Trap Hole, but I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta trust your instincts, you know? That's, that's part of dueling. Oh, Call of the Haunted, man. Bakura, dude. What are you doing, man? Oh, my God. Wow. Bakura is playing pretty good here. I must admit. I must admit. All right. Not bad, Bakura. Not bad. But we, we made him waste a good card, Call of the Haunted. Uh, he did use it pretty good, though, to block there, so. Alright. Well, in phase, I'm gonna have to get rid of Horn Imp. So. Bye-bye, Horn Imp. And you take damage. Yeah. Alright. See what you're gonna do, Makura. Uh, just a face down, huh? Alright. See what we can get here. Magic drain. Hmm. Yeah. Now slot machine is probably not going to be of much use to us during this duel. So, uh, unhappy maiden has no points. So, what I'm actually going to do is attack with Muka Muka here with full power. And oh, pyramid turtle. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Uh, with that, he could summon. He could summon something really strong from his deck. Uh, I don't know, does he have Vampire Lord? I don't know, we're about to find out. Ooh, Patrician of Darkness, wow. Wow, Bakura. Um, wow. Well, there's not much I can really do here. I want to keep Muka Muka, but... Um... At the same time, it looks like it's not really going to happen, so... Uh, what will I do? I think... I think what I'll do is I'll set Unhappy Maiden, and then, uh... Yeah, we'll go with that. Hopefully next turn... Um... Patrician of Darkness this is the only monster, and that way he'll have to sacrifice it. So, sorry, Mooka Mooka. He pulled out a good move there. So, yeah, and we are running out of monsters. Aha! He did have Violet Crystal. Okay. Okay, I, I feel good about that trap hole now. I feel really good about it. Two Violet. Wow. Wow, Bakura. I don't know why you're going all out. This isn't going to do three. Bakura, three. You played three. Violet Christmas. Man. 
well, I definitely made the right move there uh, by getting rid of Muka Muka. <laughs> like, because like, if, if I would have left it, he would have done how much damage? Like, 900? Wow, dude. Three. I've never seen him play three Violet Crystals on one monster. Wow. Okay. And now it's not going to matter because Ectoplasma. That's crazy. Wow. Alright, so the score is uh, virtually tied. 54 50. Mmm, Silver Fang. Okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. As gutsy as it is, you know, this is our only monster. I probably should play it in defense mode. But I'm going to go for it because, I mean, he has only one card in his hand, so... Uh, and he didn't summon a monster last turn, so... You know what, I'm just going to try to use... You know, use this kind of loop that's going on now to where... Basically, what's going to happen is we're going to start getting direct attacks on each other. And then use the Ectoplasm. Uh, I'm going to try to use it to my advantage and just hope we can keep drawing monsters. I think that's our best bet, honestly. Ooh, Book of Life. Okay. We don't want to let that happen. So I'm going to try to negate it. Magic Drain. Alright, come on. Do you have a spell card, Bakura? Oh, you did. Wow. Okay. Nice move, man. Nice move. This is gonna hurt. Gonna be three thousand by the time it's all said and done. So, Ugh. not bad, man. Wow. Ectoplasma. Mm. I have to admit, you know, in the early stages of the game, this is a really hard strategy to go against. Oh, Arm Ninja. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to set this face down. Um, I'm actually not sure if I want to destroy Ectoplasma because... You know, it's, he's going to keep destroying his monsters. Enchanting Fitting Room. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Basically, with that, you pay 800 points... And if you get level 3 or lower monsters, like he's getting here, Skull Servant, um, then you can special summon him. So, another Skull Servant. Hmm. Alright, he gets one more card. Okay, good, good. Play both those in defense mode, so... Uh, I'm not too worried about those. So... Yeah. Yeah, that's only 150 with Ectoplasma, so I'm, I'm kind of debating... On whether or not I should destroy it. Uh, hmm. Skull dice. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll place skull dice face down. And his yeah, skull servant can't be our ninja. So yeah, I'm still not sure if I want to destroy ectoplasma or not. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna end it there. Clown zombie, okay. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I should. I think I will destroy Ectoplasma, actually, because. Um. If I just leave it on the field, he's just gonna sacrifice Skull Servant and then. Leave his Clown Zombie on the field. So, in this situation. I think it's a good idea to destroy it, uh, and that way we don't have to worry about losing, you know, due to uh, effect damage either. So, hmm. All right. Skull Servant's gonna do 300. It's, it's not much. But wow, we might have our first loss here if uh, can't draw a monster, man. We'll just have to see what happens. Gotta hope for the heart of the cards here. 
Art of the cards. Great white. Nice. <laughs> oh man, I picked a good time to draw that. Uh, now should I take out Clown Zombie? No, no, because even if he like powers it up or something, I still have Skull Dice, so I'm going to get in as much damage as I can here. Alright. So yeah, destroying Ectoplasma was definitely the right move. Um, so yeah, early in the game you don't have much spell and trap removal, so I mean from what I can see here in this duel, I would definitely recommend keeping Arm Ninja and uh, maybe maybe even recommend buying some uh, some booster packs that have uh, you know trap removal because uh, wow yeah yeah heart of the underdog that's not good either but uh, yeah I would definitely definitely recommend spell and trap removal that's probably the best way to beat Bakura ooh now red medicine boost points by 500 that's actually good because we're running a little low right now so I'll go ahead and play that so yeah alright Alright, Great White. I, I don't know why you left it in attack. I guess just because it has zero defense points, so um, it's honestly n not a bad play. Alright, Bakura. Alright, I end my turn. Let's see what you got. Wow. This duel is intense, man. So we got a face down card. Negate attack, okay. So even if things somehow gotta go awry here, we have cards to stall, so that's good. Alright, great white direct attack, is this gonna do it? I hope so, man. Yes. Alright, whew. Wow, Bakura. That's pretty good. I don't think he was as hard as perhaps, you know, Yugi, but man, that was pretty close, honestly. Uh, if I hadn't drawn an Arm Ninja there, probably would have lost. Yeah, so. Yugi is most impressive doing such powerful foes like you. Well, thanks, Bakura, I appreciate that. Alright, we ran into someone new, so let's see. I think I'm gonna. Click on the home button here. I'm gonna save real quick. Wow, Bakura. Whew. I forgot how how uh, kind of frightening it is to face his deck. Uh, but he runs a good strategy there with um, you know the pyramid turtle because you can call out any zombie as long as its defense is two thousand or lower. So you can get some good ones like you know vampire lord. Uh, if you want to run the Pump King strategy, uh, and of course the one he pulled out, Patrician of Darkness. Uh, I don't know if Ryu Koki is in this game, but that's another good one. Um, but wow, yeah, that's definitely a good strategy. Alright, let's see if we can find someone else to duel. Doesn't look like there's many people. Uh, this one's close to home. Is that the only one? It is, because I think I scouted all around. Let's see. Yeah, that's the only one. Alright, let's uh, see who this is. Ooh, Joey, okay. Wow. Well, we're getting lucky here in the beginning with, like, variety. Yeah, I'm Joey Wheeler, the duelist no one wants to face. No, not because I'm annoying, or because I have a Brooklyn accent. Cause I'm the toughest duelist out there. If you're a duelist, I'll take you on. Let's duel. And I'm gonna play Kunai with Chain. <laughs> Alright. Joey Wheeler. Awesome. Alright. Here we go. And now, wish me luck, guys, on this one. And I, I mean that literally. Um. Most people consider Yugi to be the hardest, you know, one of the hardest people on this game. Uh, I, I, 
I agree with that in some respects, but in some ways, I think actually Joey might be the toughest player in this game. Um, I don't know, and maybe you guys will see why uh, in this duel here. Uh, you know, generally, you know, he just runs pretty solid, you know, attacking cards like, you know, Axe Raider, easy to summon. Uh, I think he even runs maybe Goblin Attack Force. Yeah, and he runs luck cards like this, Blind Destruction, uh, Needle Wall, um, Time Wizard, uh, <laughs> all kinds of, uh, oh, and of course, Dangerous Machine Type 6, so he runs all kind of cards that, you know, you know, rely on gamble, gambling, but I don't know, it just seems like, maybe it's, I just have bad luck, but, okay, too, um, but it just seems like whenever I duel Joey, you know, he just has the best luck, uh, and wow, I guess maybe we do in this duel because he's not drawing any monsters but yeah it just seems like whenever I duel him like time wizard always hits you know and like here when I have two level fours it seems like he would you know roll a four on blind destruction and then you know I don't know <laughs> summon axe raider on me direct attack I don't know you, you, you guys will see this won't be the only only duel we have with Joey and I can guarantee at least one of them uh, at some point in this LP, we are going to lose. Um, it, it, the luck just makes that big a difference, honestly. Like, like you'll see. Um, and this duel isn't over by any stretch. I mean, we, we may even lose this one, so... I'm honestly kind of scared, man. I activate Blind Destruction! So now I roll my dice! Woo! Close. You got a three, man. Wow. Alright. Okay, so he finally got a monster. But, we have Shadow of Eyes. Aha, so now your monster's forced to attack mode, Joey. Tiger Axe. Huh, okay. Alright. My turn. Hmm. I think I will set Unhappy Maiden. Uh, yeah, that way if we get screwed over by Blind Destruction, uh, we'll still have something on the field. Because Blind Destruction only affects face-up monsters, so. Alright. Destroy Tiger Axe. And I'm honestly surprised he didn't play, like, Kunai with Chain right there. Uh, when he had his Tiger Axe. Alright, or Skull Dice or something, yeah. <laughs> yes, and he does run his dice cards as well. Graceful Dice and Skull Dice, so... You, you sort of have to be careful when attacking his monsters. But, uh, looks like we got lucky that time. Alright, Blind Destruction. Yeah, I rolled my dice! Oof, I... <laughs> Oof, man, you're getting too close, Joey. Too close for comfort, I don't like it. Okay, just one face down. Hmm. Toon Gator. Okay, that's good for defense. Um. Man, he's only got 1,200 life points left, so. I think we're gonna go for the win here, guys. Uh. Oh, wow! Wow! Alright. Well, I don't know what his three face downs were, but. I guess none of them could stop us, so that's. We got lucky in that duel. Don't let that duel be a representation of the true scariness that is Joey Wheeler. I mean, he only got one monster that duel, and it wasn't strong enough, so. No spell cards bonus. Nice. New bonus. Alright. Alright, we're getting close to that 1500, so that's good. No! I lost! What will I do about my sister Serenity's eyesight? Eh, I don't know, Joey. I don't know. Alright. And we'll go back and save. 
Let's see, and do I have time for one more duel? Uh, we're at about 25 minutes here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should... Not, well... Yeah, we'll try one more. We'll try one more. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's see who we can find. Anyone's over there. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, looks like someone's here. Yeah, let's see if they want to duel. Oh, it's Joey again. Okay. Alright, round two Joey's Revenge. I may be an amateur when it comes to combos and techniques, but you won't find anyone who fights harder than me. Let's duel. Bring it on. Alright. I think this is the first time we've run into, and this will happen a lot in this game, to where, uh, you know, you'll run into the same duelist twice in a row. Um, but honestly, we've had pretty good luck so far. I, I think, yeah, because, oh man, our hand is not, dude, this is Joey, Joey's Revenge, like, like, <laughs> look at our hand, dude. This is the hand Joey had last duel. Um, we have block attack, negate attack. Paralyzing Potion, uh, Fairy Meteor Crush, Magic Drain, and Stimpax. So, basically not much is what I'm saying. Wow. Okay. Well, man, what do I do with this hand? Well, I know I have to set Negate Attack and Magic Drain. That's, that's, that's a given. Uh, but do I play Paralyzing Potion on his Versago? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And just like, I don't know, just a hope that's the only monster he has for a while. I don't know, this is not looking really good. And he also has Needle Wall, so any cards we play are, are in threats of, uh, uh, getting destroyed anyway. Alligator sword. Oh, A and B sequence. There you go. Hmm. Now I could play negate attack, but I'm just gonna take the damage for now. Basically, I'm gonna save negate attack for when he has like I don't know, like four monsters that can attack. Yeah. Whew, wow. This is Joey's revenge. Okay, Muka Muka. Hmm. You know what? That's good. Um. You know what? Do I want to wait a turn? No, you know what? No. I'll go ahead and play it. I'm. Wait, why did I set it face down? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think either way. I'm gonna play Negate Attack next turn. Oh yeah, he still has Needle Wall too. Darn it. Oh man. Please don't get a three. Come on, Joey. Please don't, please. Okay, one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Little Wing Guard. Okay. Alright. So I'll play Negate Attack on that. And then next turn, I'll use Muka Muka to attack Alligator Sword. Yeah. That sounds like a plan. Hmm. Yeah, Little Wingard, that's a kind of a good card. During the end phase, you can change its battle mode. So that's pretty good. Uh, so I'll go with Muka Muka. Attack mode. Yeah. And I'll kill his uh, Alligator Sword. It's the strongest thing on the field, so... Uh, oh, Skull Dice. Oh, man. This is Joey's Revenge. Uh, oh, he only got a one. I think that means we, we're still good, right? Yes. Oh, man. Wow. Whew. Wow, we got really lucky there. Because all he needed was like a three. 
and uh, yeah, we would have been screwed pretty good. So, okay, okay, Joey. Wow. Don't scare me like that, buddy. Man. All right, Joey. What are you gonna get? Oh, you got the three. Ah. Needle wall. Man, that's a good card. Oh, polymerization? Dude, no, 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 no. We can't have them fusing stuff, too. No. Uh uh. Magic Journey. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Whew. Wow. Oh, okay. So my guess there is that. Oh, AMV for Baby Trek. That's cool. My guess there is he was going for Thousand Dragon because, you know, he already has Versigo on the field, so thank God we negated it, though. We might have bought ourselves an extra turn with that, so. Man, Joey. This really is Joey's revenge, man. I might have to do my first reset here. Gosh, Joey. Yep. Well. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Can I make an epic comeback here, guys? I don't know. I'm gonna need some luck, though. Uh, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world, honestly. Because now he has... With this, I'll be able to steal two of his attacks. Uh, so... It's not bad, really. Okay. And he's gonna attack with little wing guard. So no, I'll let Baby Dragon go through, and that way we only take 12 damage this turn. So we're kind of, kind of surviving by the skin of our nose here. Let's see, Spellbinding Circle. Yeah. Oh man, the only thing I worry about with this is like. What if he gets, what if he draws red eyes and just, you know, sacrifices, <laughs> sacrifices Versago and Little Wingard, oh god. Oh, Great White, okay, okay. Um, yeah, we'll play that, we'll play that. Okay, Joey. Oh, please don't have, like, Kunai with Chain or something. Attack Baby Dragon! Oh, another Skull Dice! Oh man, there's no way he'll get unlucky twice in a row. There's no way. Oh, yep, I knew it. Six. Dang, Joey. Oh my god, man. Joey's revenge. Man, I I should have used stem pack. Uh Well, this might be it. If he draws a monster like X Raider or Red Eyes. There's so many things he could draw to just end it right now. Yeah, it's over. Axe Raider, I called it. Oh, should be used the step back. No! Baby Dragon, attack Blood's life points. Oh, man, Joey. Well, did I call it or what, guys? I mean, now you see, now you see the, uh, street toughness that is Joey Wheeler. X-ray to slice him and dice him. And look at Joey's happy face. <laughs> and yeah, when you lose, it's not like game over. Ooh, well, mm, you know what? I'm not going to spoil that, but basically you get a point for every turn count, so yeah, baby, that's all heart. Man. All heart and a little luck. Because my hand was terrible to start that move. Um, but that can happen. I mean, really, that can happen at any point in the game. So, I I'm not too upset by that. But, um... Yeah, I'm basically going to reset the game. And, um... Actually, I think this is going to be the end of this episode. So, yeah, officially... One loss versus Joey. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to reset the game. And, uh... In the next episode, we're going to see, I don't know, we're going to see if we can maybe find Joey again, uh, finish this match, you know, best two out of three, man, that's, that's, that's what we got to do, we got to, 
we gotta redeem ourselves. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh man, the X Raider.